we'll never know what Enzo Ferrari would have thought of the Poro Sangue. From the outside, it's easy to criticize the prancing horse for jumping on the SUV bandwagon, but the Marinella brand isn't running a charity. It's a business that needs to be profitable to grow, and we've all seen how the likes of Cayenne, Eurus, and DBX have helped the respective brands blossom. All these high-end automakers continue to sell their core models, so Purus can still have their sports cars. The same holds true for Ferrari as it hasn't introduced the Poro Sangue to the detriment of its low-slung machines. In fact, the Italian Marks lineup has never been this diverse, and it's one of the last companies that still offers V12-powered cars in an age when downsizing is on every regulator's lips. The Poro Sangue happens to be one of them. Mind you, this isn't just any version, but one that has been customized by Piero Ferrari himself. The only living son of Il Commendatore decided to honor his father by choosing to paint the high-performance SUV in Verdora to echo Enzo's 400 Super America built in 1962. It eschews the panoramic glass in favor of a carbon roof and rides on diamond-cut forged wheels finished in opaque winter gray. Inside, there's jade brown leather to echo the cream interior of Piero's source of inspiration. The unusually colored Poro Sangue showcases the diverse customization options available through Ferrari's tailor-made program. Much like his father did with the 400 Super America, the 78-year-old businessman will be driving the unique SUV. If you're curious about what happened to Enzo's car, it rests at the Revs Institute Museum in Florida. It has never been restored, but the Ferrari founder did change the interior and repainted the front fascia.